Welcome back everyone, I'm your host Mr. Gazillion and this is episode, I think, uh, 7 of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. In the last episode, we left off here just about entering uh, this Dwarven Castle. Lolly ho! This is the Dwarven Castle under the rule of our noble king, Gaiet. Um, yeah, so uh, obviously we want to make sure that the castle is doing alright. That girl was something fierce, we were powerless against her. I'm just happy that Princess Luca is safe, Lolly. It's Lolly Ho, dude. There are four dark crystals, and we have one of them in this castle. Or at least we did until that one scary girl took it away from us. Damn, looks like we're too late. That girl used some kind of weird exotic power. She made monsters appear out of thin air. So the Lunarian's a summoner, eh? All together now. One, two, three, Lolly Ho! Lolly Ho, this is the word that brings every dwarf together. Yes, yes. We were attacked by that airship from before. Hmm, okay. Let's see. The throne room. Father, are you alright? My stars, that's what I want to ask you, Luca! Blundering around on that airship of yours, but never fear. My fortress was built to stand strong against bombing assault as feeble as that one. It is good to see you again, King Gaiet. Ah, welcome, Rydia. It has been ages. The Crystal Father, is it safe? We weren't able to protect it. It was taken by just a lone young woman, no less. What? That was no ordinary girl, though. She wielded the exact same powers as yours, Rydia. Huh? The same power as Rydia? You mean she can't control Eidolons? That's correct. She used that power to shrug off my most battle-hardened dwarven guards and snatch away the crystal with ease. How could something like this happen? And why are the Red Wings involved in this? Where is Sid? You hardly need to worry about that man, Luca. He is as stout and hardy as any dwarf I have met. Something's happened to Cecil and to Baron, I'm sure of it. There's no other explanation for why they'd bomb this castle without reason. The wars of the past are about to spring forth anew. That much I fear is certain. Whoops, that was King Gaia. Sorry, guys. Their forces already have three of the dark crystals in their hands. What? How do we know that? So the last crystal is... In the sealed cave. Father, I'm going to the sealed cave. Luca, you have already put yourself through enough danger if you go there. Oh, Father, I'll be fine. We aren't going alone anyway. What? Besides, the only way we get in, get in is with this necklace I have, right? I want to be the one who uses it this time. It's all I have left from Mother. Luca. I never thought I'd had to raise such a stubborn child. Like father, like daughter, you know. Just remember to be careful. The Tower of Babel has been glowing ominously for days. And I fear that is the only... Th the beginning. Rhea, make sure my daughter doesn't get into trouble. Yes, your majesty. And I'll be here to help you out, Rhea. My dear ladies, please do not overextend yourselves. We've enjoyed peace for many years, but now I'm afraid it's time to come to a force of defense. Alright, let's see what's going on here. The Bat Tower Bible scares me. It's all lit up and stuff. We can't even go inside either. Lali Ho, the village of Tamra might have weapons made for human hands. My dear ladies, please do not extend. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, do we can we go visit the crystal room? How do we get in again? It's over here, isn't it? Oh, well, maybe they don't want us to go check it out. But yeah, so in the last episode, we did find out that the Edelon stopped answering uh, her summons. Rydia summons. We were attacked by that airship from before. So, uh, to me, that means that maybe, considering she was wielding their powers, looks like she was controlling them more than summoning them, but who knows. Welcome to the inn. No, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, do we want anything? We've got some potions. got some phoenix down. I feel like we could use a little bit of these, but to be honest, I'd rather go buy some newer equipment. We've got enough of everything for now. Dwarven items hold magical bars. I bet humans can't handle them. 
Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go check out the weapons. There used to be like a bunch of secret passages in this castle, so I wonder if we can go see them. I'm an heiress on the castle release team. No, I'm not a man. That weird guy put a drill on this session. How is he doing? I don't know. Lolly who, I can't sleep it off, no problem. We don't know where Sid is. He, he kind of went missing after the assault on uh, on Baron, but obviously uh, Rydia doesn't know that. Lolly who, we aren't using the base right now. Oh, so do you'll let me go if I want to, eh? And am I gonna find some goods here? Does it smell like uh, carrots or whatever that... I guess not. There's a giant chocobo and there you go, potion. Oh, good, goody goody. Lots of potion. Ooh, a warrior something. Well, I'm glad I found it. I'm assuming it's for Luca. Wait, what was it? Okay, maybe not. What the heck did I just find? I was assuming it was just a potion, but it might be something else. Alright, let's look it up. It was a war warrior's clothes, and I can't equip it on anyone, so that was useless. Alright, let's go find more more goods then. Anything we find in the treasure chests is good, because that means we don't need to actually spend money to buy it. I hate spending money for nothing. Alright, so we got a Crescent Axe. Ooh, no range, who cares? And we already knew the whip was a better attack, but it's it lowers your intelligence, so we're gonna just hold on to that. But the Crescent Axe, I'm totally gonna buy. Wish I could equip it from this menu, actually, so I could sell my stuff right away. So, yeah, better attack, less... Oh, uh, that bow actually means accuracy, but... 10% difference for that increase, I'm okay with that. I'll hold on to the axe, maybe. I mean the hammer, just for now. Oh, okay, so the iron shield's good, let's buy one of those, let's buy one of the... Ah, oh, we're out of money. Dang it. Uh, I think she wasn't equipped with a shield, either, so... There we go. Let's see what we can sell then. With 200 gold to spare... Uh, sorry, so with 200 gold to spare, iron armor is 1000 gold and an iron helm is 800 gold. So can we make at least 510, I mean 410 gold? Uh, sorry, 5 and 10. The ore, top of the ore, name of the artisan, no whip. It's only 50. Uh, no, how much can I sell it for? 100? Yeah, might as well. Let's try it out. Leather cap we don't need. Kind of want to hold on to the warrior's clothes, and the hammer's only 25, right? So I don't want to waste selling it. So I guess that was kind of useless of us. Maybe we can find some good somewhere else. Dwarver, Dwarven armor is thick. Too thick for humans to move in, I'd say. Well, I'm also a caster, so... That doesn't help. Uh, we're in a tower, let's explore for goodies, exactly! High potion, okay, sure, I'll take it. Alright, what do you have to say, buddy? What do you have to tell me? You've got King Guy's permission, don't let a treasure get, a, get here to go to waste. Done. 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 I'll take every treasure if there are any. Come on, man. Where are all the treasures? None of these pots have any. Oh, this one has one. Okay, what am I supposed to do with that? I saw there was a bottom one. How do you get through? Secret door? Let's see if we can get through a wall or something. No. Come on. Yes, there you go. Alright. 600 gil. Yes, that's exactly what we needed too. So now we can buy actually uh, the iron armor. That'll come in the handy. Oh, yes, yes. Phoenix down. Useful. Um, Alright, I know there's secret doors all around. Silver apple. I think that raises your MP, doesn't it? Maybe I'll try and find a way to... Either to maybe give it to Rydia, but actually it doesn't really... Yeah, she's like the main character. I think the silver apple raises your MP. Oh, HP. Well, she's the lowest one, so, and she's my main character, and from what I've seen from the previous episodes, you... Ah, I'm Waxing Moon. Wax on, wax off. 
Um, yeah, that was a little hanging fruit right there. Alright, an iron... Oh, yeah! There's money saved. They knew exactly what... Oh, no, I already bought it. Damn it, I wish I could have... Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, so let's keep exploring. Doesn't mean there won't be any more treasures. Yeah, I definitely like the more orchestrated music from these games. That's one thing that I don't care what you say. I don't think the MIDI surpasses the orchestrated music. Maybe like nostalgia wise a little bit, but we got that gap yeah, lolly ho, I'm not about to admit defeat that easily. Um da -da 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 Lolly ho, is there gonna be another war? Looks like it, buddy, looks like it. Nothing much we can do about it. Hmm. Honestly, I changed a, f I changed a few settings in my uh, OBS, my uh, capture software that I'm using, which is free, by the way. And uh, I find that it's not lagging as much. It's actually, performance is a lot better. Ooh, he's sleeping. That means we can take everything. We don't have to ask. If we can find anything, anyway. I do find it lags a lot less now that uh, I was a um, actually uh, capturing a bomb crank. Yeah, I think that's a level 2 spell. Is there a treasure here somewhere? Oh, no. Yeah, I think Bomb Crank's level 2. Um, I was actually capturing thing at an awkward resolution, so I was getting black borders. Spider silk. Um, it wasn't on purpose. And, uh, yeah, so I was capturing it. And I think it was making me lag, because anytime you change the resolution of something... Soma drop. Now that, I believe, is the MP. Yep, by 10. Let's use it. On my favorite caster, Rydia. I think actually Tella is my favorite Final Fantasy character. He's definitely my favorite Final Fantasy 4 character, but honestly, I look back at um, other Final Fantasy games, and while I did, you know, I don't think. I think Final Fantasy 7 is a little overrated. Um, I did enjoy the game when it first came out, um, though. Okay, how do I get to that one? There we go. Sir Hermes Sandals. I think that's... Uh... Okay, okay. How do I get back to the beginning? Let me in. Um, well, I did enjoy Final Fantasy VII. Uh, it's not one of my favorites. And I did, I did find some of the characters were, you know... Everybody loves Cloud and Sephiroth and stuff like that. But, you know, whatever. I, I, I have more... Uh, I have other favorite characters. Um, I don't know who are my favorite ones, like, like, decisively, like, who's my favorite. Tella is definitely one of, the, one of the top ones. I always loved Tella. I really thought Fusoya was really neat. Uh, the Lunarian caster, because he, you know, he's like just some really freaking powerful caster, you know, on the same level as Gold Bells. Um, but, uh, by far, um... But Tella has more character development throughout the game, so I have to give him an edge. And he's the only one that actually dies, and dies permanently, if you will. Okay. And I know, his his background story, you know, he's chasing his daughter, because he thinks he's, he just ran off uh, with a, a random bard, so it just makes sense for him to want the best for his daughter. Ah, oh, 600, I'm just like, underneath. So he just wants to stop her, and then she dies in an attack, right? So... Alright, so that's... I think that's good enough for now. I don't absolutely need the bronze helmet. So, uh, I want to grab the airship to go and check out the village. Actually, let's see what we can explore in overall, because, I mean, there's a lot to explore around here. Let's save on a different save file in case I screw up. And hopefully, we have control of the airship. Please, please, please. Are these dolls? Did she fix up the dolls from the previous game that attacked? Are those two... I told you we weren't alone, didn't I? Huh, that's kind of interesting. 
Oh yeah, these are Kalka and Brina from Calabrina? Calcabrina, is that what they called them when she joined? They'll be a huge help to us this time, I'm sure of it. Mechanical doll boy Kalka, mechanical girl Brina. Okay, I'm okay with that. Can we equip them with anything? More of Sid's work? I fixed them up actually. My airship expertise gets me a pretty long way with these things. I'm glad it wasn't Sid actually. Now then, how about we set up for Tamra first? Oh, that's actually where I wanted to go. Tamra? If you can't summon Edelons, then you're gonna need some new equipment, and fast. Uh, I suppose so. This bathing suit isn't gonna get me very far, I guess. Not a lot of protection. Yeah, well, why, why are we wearing that anyway? Off we go! Falcon away! And the dolls are dancing. I think I'd get annoyed. I think I programmed that out of the dolls. They kind of looked like the little dolls that, uh, uh, uh Sebastian, uh, uh, J.F. Sebastian, whatever he's called in, uh, in, uh, Blade Runner. He, like, makes little toys. Come on, land. 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 How do you land? Oh, there you go. It's the cancel button. Let's go see if our friend here can make us any equipment. Or if we can find any hidden treasures? I think this is the guy that could forge a sword out of adamant in the previous games. But, let's see. Ooh, it looks like it became a shop. My master Cockle met his eternal reward, proud of the great feat he accomplished, forging the Holy Sword. I can only hope to carry on the legacy he built. Bring me the Cockle Orc is scattered throughout the world, and I will mix it with items to create new weapons. What do you want to make? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't know what would be best. I mean, I guess an axe right now would go pretty well. Hmm, what's best though? Give me some freaking info. I'm guessing Tomahawk's the best because it's the lowest level one. You need a battle axe and four Coco Loras to make a Tomahawk. Uh, you don't have enough. Of course I don't. Okay then. It's one of those things is there's probably like a limited amount of the ore in the world. Hello. Ah, and we found one right here. And a high potion. Hooray! Yeah, I don't really feel like buying just a freaking hammer. We already had the hammer. Angel's clothes. Hello! Radio, what can you wear? Ah, oh, what the heck? Lame! Who can wear it then? And why do we get warrior's clothes and now angel's clothes? Forget, protects against various status elements. Effective against demon attacks. Okay. I'm assuming only white mages can equip it? Lame. Oh, there you go. Well, I guess we'll give the warrior's clothes to the little dude. And can we give him anything else? No. Okay, and I suppose she can wear the angel's clothes? I guess. It's kind of useless if you ask me. Whatever. At least we don't have to spend money on equipping dolls. Yep, yep, yep. How, uh, how fun. I mean, what kind of abilities do they have? None. What kind of status, then? Do they gain levels? Okay, at least they gain levels. Um, but I can't, they don't seem to have any kind of abilities, so that sucks. Alright, then. We've explored this one. We're just gonna do a little save here. Yeah, sure. Save on top of it. Alright, back on the airship. Can we get out of the cave or has it been closed up? I feel that we, since we have the Falcon with a drill, we could probably go up. Oh, I don't see anything on the mini-map, so it looks like I cannot go- Oh, maybe! Yes, let's do it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, Lame! I mean, I figured I could land anywhere here. It doesn't look like there's anything that's really, uh... Valuable. Let's go check out the the uh, Tower of Babel. We know we can't go inside of it, but it's not freaking shining. What are you talking about? Can we go inside? Out of curiosity, I don't really want to risk it, but nope. All right, well that's good to know. Um, the home of the Sylphs. Oh, that's weird. Do you see that? That's like a weird kind of like artifact. Um. Yeah, so 
you could go to the Sylph Cave over here, and that's where you would find Yang in the Final Fantasy IV after he was hit. I believe this is the Fey March. Um, was there a little cottage around here? I forget. Nope. Uh, this is the cave we have to go to that's locked by the necklace. And this is our fun little town that we want to explore, so let's go check it out. We see that we don't have much to explore on this world, so... Hey ho, you just are in the village of Tamra, have you? Yes, I have, Mr. Yoda. Well, looky here, you're the princess from the castle, ain't ya? Funny thing, you all the way down here. I just mixed a bunch of accent for them. I don't really know what kind of dwarven accent to give them. Whoa, you're a fancy one, ain't ya, lady? You want a drink? Excuse me, it's not because I'm wearing a bathing suit that I want to be harassed. There's a cave as a ways off to the northwest. They say it's home to something called a sylph. Then again, they also say the cave is packed to the gills with treasure. Ooh, maybe we just got ourselves a little, uh... A little uh, incentive to go check it out. Ooh, friggin' a hundred here? That's expensive. Yay, some wine. I'm never gonna use it. Let's go see what kind of equipment we can get for Redia here. You know, it kind of makes no sense that um, that the inn, uh, sorry, that Tamra village would have a gear for humans and not the castle. They're both dwarven cities, so buzz off. See, a tent's a hundred. Oh, I guess the inn is also a hundred. This village has been through a lot since we started trading with the overworld. It's like a big city now. And of course, the first NPC I'll talk after the complaint will explain why they have human gear. Okay then, never mind. They started trading with the overworld. The sealed cave, just go a little ways north of town and you'll run right into it. Watch your hides though, the place is lousy with crazy critters. Alright. What's this little home? Ooh, looks like it's treasure. Treasure chest? You won't find any of those here, girl. No way. No how. This is a warehouse, pure and simple. Yeah, then why am I finding a bunch of treasures, eh? A phoenix down? That's a good treasure to find. Ooh, some ore. I'm okay with that as well. I think we're up to three now. Alright. If you've been... You're, if you're fixing to test your metal, the Sylph's Cave's a better bet than the Seal Cave, I'd say. Okay, so... Oh, nice. Do we have a battle axe? I think we need a battle axe. Luca has the crescent axe, but we have the four ore that we need to upgrade her, so... Well, that's actually a good start. Um... Lally ho You must be some of them city folk, ain't you? Um, yeah, I'm from the... I'm from the castle, I guess, and from the fame arch. Well, I guess I'm from Miss Cave, really, so... I recall having a secret passage in between both of them. Yep, here we go. I'm glad they kept it. Oh, yay, some more ore. Maybe we can actually just create the stronger axe for her. Alright, let's see here. Rydia, you already have a feather cap. Ooh, a wizard hat would come in nice. Would be nice. Some gear gear, uh, not really worth it. Silver armlet, also not super worth it at that price, but that with that wizard hat though, that improves your magic defense and your defense. With 700 though, that's a lot of money. That's not a huge upgrade for any of them. In fact, it's not really a good upgrade for the dolls either. Uh, leather clothing is kind of a downgrade. I guess the only real upgrade... Oh, excuse me for the yawning, folks. I think the only real upgrade here is a gear gear because... It does upgrade by only one, but it's also cheaper. And uh, these armlets are actually good. I'm gonna buy a couple of them, or just one anyway, because that's all I can afford. And the silver armlet's worth it, but... Still gonna go just for the gear gear. We're gonna stick to the basics for now, because... Alright, so there's one. And maybe by selling this thing, we can actually give the dolls some goods. So, the boys' clothes we're gonna sell, the girls' clothes we're gonna sell, leather clothing we're gonna sell. And now we're up to 300, so yes, we can buy them the basics. So, a couple of iron armlets. There we go. 
Because they're going to be probably pretty useless, to be honest. Uh, I feel like I could maybe equip them with some basic leather gear. What do I, how many do I have left? 140, eh? Uh, leather helm cap. It slows down their freaking... How does the leather cap reduce their magic defense? That's ridiculous. That makes it not worth it. Yeah, magic defense down? What the heck? I am confused. Oh yeah, and I forgot to check the weapons. I probably should have done that first. I don't really want to buy weapons and waste it on them. Flame rod? Okay, better than the ice rod. So that would probably sell for 110, which brings up to 250. I'm still making 130. And, uh, ooh, wow, look at the daggers. I'd like to give those to the guys. I'd probably have to grind off, off screen, though. Oh, man, oh, man. Alright, so... I say let's go explore, uh... Actually, we did forget to go check one area in the castle, and that was a cave right here, which basically is an underground passage that we used in the first game to get to um, to get to the Tower of Babel. We might actually find some gear here, so... This is a free healing pot, I think. Yes, that means we can grind here if we want. And it won't cost us anything. And uh, let's find some goods. A more ore, nice. I'm down for all the ore. Is there any more here? Oh yeah. How much do we have? We should probably check that out. There was a treasure chest here in the first game. I believed it started a battle though. It was one of those like monsters in a chest. But now we have uh, Brina and Calda. So I'm not too worried. A phoenix down. A tent. And a... Oh, useless. Like seriously. Like who stocks up on item stick away status effects? It's so rare that you don't want to... You know. Like I have a mage in all my teams most of the time. Like okay I don't have a white mage now. But I have a caster that can s cast a Zuna. And it's very rare that I want my warriors to uh, cast Azuna for me. So, alright, well, we saw what we wanted to see here. I wanted to see the, uh, I wanted to see the, the, uh, crystal room, but, uh, there was no switch to activate it, so... No use. I do want to see one battle, because I want to see how the dolls fight. So before we jump into a cave, I say we go check that out. Alright, like just because maybe maybe one battle is gonna give us like the one the 150 or you know like quite a bit of money that's enough to uh, I forgot that the encounter weight on the world map is awkward in this game so I might have lied to some of you because um when the battle started the uh, game kind of crapped out on me so I figured well since, you know, the game crashed, I might as well go, uh, you know, grind a little bit and get some items. As you can see, Rita is no longer wielding her ice rod, and instead she's wearing a fire rod, as well as a wizard hat and a Gaia gear and a silver armlet. And I actually took the time to equip daggers and all that stuff to the dolls, and I actually went back and bought the iron helmet for Luca. So, you know what? This is kind of a uh, fortunate crash, if you will. And now that uh, we've seen everything, let's move forward and let's go explore the Sylph Cave. Because, you know what? Why not? Um, I didn't really find anything else in the process. I just ended up grinding for quite a bit, actually. Um, Mostly because uh, I figured it would be handy to have the best equipment and it'd be fun to explore the Sylph Cave while we can because apparently we're going to find a lot of treasure there. So yeah, let's do that instead. And uh, one more thing, uh, though I find that the... Uh, whoop, what the heck? I guess it doesn't want to land on the sand. Uh, I, I, in the process I gained a lot of levels because if you go to my save of when we first loaded, I was level 10 and 16, and now we are level uh, 16 and 19, and the dolls gain just 
just a ton of levels. Uh, the only thing is, I don't really remember how this cave works. Uh, I think the layouts for most of the uh, caves and stuff in this game uh, have remained the same. Oh, nice. Treasures already. A potion. And then a spider silk. Ah, yeah. Treasures I do not want. They're not worth the possible fight I would get walking this way. But, you know what? Whatever. Um, I don't remember if there's a secret path to go to either the left or the right, but I don't think so. But you know what? We're going to check it out anyway. No fights so far, so that's kind of neat. Oh, there you go. I went and spoke too soon. And uh, I'd say these battles are actually... What the heck? That's kind of interesting because uh, these are actually the same monsters I was fighting outside of town. As you can see with the one damage you're dealing to Kalka, that's not too bad. Also, um, with Kalka and Brina being so much higher level, they've learned a band. Unite band, which is basically uh, them doing damage as their doll. But I haven't tested it out yet, so I figured, you know what? It would be a crime to do it without you guys, so... I'm gonna go around this way. Because to be honest, I actually do not remember what's the right way. So, let's do a little bit of, uh... Let's do Fyra? Yeah, let's not take any chances. There's a lot of them. Maybe not that strong, actually. Yeah, one hit wonders, so... Oh, well, maybe not with Calica or Brina, but, you know. I also changed the uh, battle order of everyone. Because uh, during one of my regular battles, I noticed that uh, Kalka got killed because he got focused on. And I thought, well, it's probably best if I spread out the damage against uh, all three of them. Because Luca, Brina, and Kalka, they all, they're all fighters. Or, well, they're not particularly good fighters. Brina is a weaker fighter than Kalka, which kind of sucks. Considering she doesn't have any spells. Uh, she do, does have a dance, though. And the dance is, uh, affects all the uh, allies. Um, so yeah, Brina does a dance, and it can do multiple, uh, it's kind of like the, the Moogle dance a little bit. Um, it doesn't, um, it doesn't really, you don't know what it's gonna do, but it did heal me once. Oh, what's here? The heck is here? Why am I able to go through, but there's nothing? Anyway. Um, yeah, so she healed at one point. Uh, Phoenix down. Uh, clown's clothing. Okay. And Echo her. Let's see if clown's clothing is worth it. Let's try it on her, I guess. Clown's clothing. Higher speed, higher version. Evasion, sorry. But uh, lower defense by a little bit. Uh, lowered magic defense. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give it to... Uh, Oh, that's why. I'm gonna give it to this... Oh, wait, his strength goes on way too much. And what does this do? Yeah, this is a big magic defense and an intellect, but she doesn't have any spells, so... Having her... Ugh. God, do I really care about higher speed for her? I guess, you know what, I guess we could uh, apply... Uh, just do the dance with her. And this looks like a secret passage. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going. I'm guessing it links to the bottom. Oh, oh that's not good. But yeah, Ooh. but yeah. So dance healed, and uh, Kalka has this ability called uh, Jig, and it does random effects on uh, monsters. And one of them was a uh, was a like a flamethrower kind of a f attack, and the other one I think did hold. So not amazing. Uh, see, like let's try a dance just to see what that can do. And we're gonna do uh, Blazara because I know these guys are immune to fire. And let's give it a whirl. And Kalka, we're gonna do... Uh... Oh, see? That hurt a lot, actually. Let's hope hopefully this is a healing one. Shell. Yeah, that's useful. Yeah, that's really useful right now. Let's try Jive. I'm guessing it's a... Black magic? Or is that a special ability? What kind of moon do we have? Oh god. That's not good at all. Dance again, please. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe the shell did help. Ooh. 28. I don't know if that's good or not. Yeah, so... 
Oh nice, Hura Dance. That was kinda nice, but didn't heal by much to be honest. So we sacrifice. <laughs> That's a neat little jig, and these guys are probably immune to uh, these kinds of effects. And let's just do a little blizzard against all of them. And There we go. No more fire for you. Uh, yeah, because if I would have done fire, I think the zombies are weak against fire, but the the flame dudes are actually immune and end up being healed by it, so... Anyway, an ambush attack. How annoying. Probably should heal. Ah, oh, that's true. They don't really have any heals, so I guess I'll just keep doing dance then. Oh, wow. That was actually so cool. Did you guys see that loop? I just looped into nothing. Alright. Well, I mean, I have to say one thing that I do enjoy about uh, this game, and I don't know if it's because of anything I did in particular, but uh, the encounter rate is not obscenely high, which to me is huge. Because um, nothing sucks more than exploring a dungeon and getting fights every two seconds, so that's kind of neat. But at the same time, it has the... Uh, kind of annoying effect of um, not uh, if you're trying to sorry if you're trying to gain levels or if you're trying to grind some gear and stuff like that well it's not fun to uh, have to walk for like a minute before you trigger a battle which is why I kind of you know did all of this off, off screen because it's not really worth it all right, man. You do a you do a little jive, and you do dance again, cause I I, I like your I like your style. Ah, oh, good stuff. Heal dance, heal dance, heal dance. Pure dance, nice. And I don't think it used any MP either. Nope. So yeah, I guess we should just. Oh my goodness, she actually managed to cast and act before Luca. Whoa. That was kind of a useless spell, but it did kill him, so I'm not going to complain too much. I'll just... I find that the heal ability... Uh, the dance is more worth it than the actual, um... The jig. Because the jig is so random, and most of the time it, you know... We did Poison Cloud... Excuse me, we did Poison Cloud... Which uh, resulted in basically nothing useful. And we did, um, Bat Pollen, so it's like, okay, 9 damage, which might have poisoned him at the end of the day, but 9 damage, come on. Useless. And then the Poison Cloud, they were immune, so what's the point? Come on, treasure. No treasure. Come on, walk through. I don't really remember. Uh, keep healing. La da 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 You can cure a dance all day. Heck yeah. Oh no, I, I did not mean to do that. Whoops. I thought that was Luca. Oops, and I just did attack on Brina by accident as well. This is not my fight. Ooh, that's actually decent damage. Oh my goodness, did you guys see? Look how fast she is. She acts twice before uh, all the other ones do. Well, no need to use magic now. My god. Wonder if she's gonna be able to attack three times then. Yep, basically she did. Beat everyone to it. Impressive. Yeah, that clone costume, uh, you know what? I was having my doubts, but she was basically able to do 300 damage before, uh, before the other ones even had the chance to act, so. All right, I'm gonna guess that you have to go down. What, up? Okay, up. Ooh, secret treasure, 500 gold pieces. I don't really give a crap about 500 gold pieces, but I'll take it. That's like finding $5 on the floor. Hey man, everybody likes finding $5 on the floor. Uh, dance, bring it up to f full speed and a little attack. Oh, God damn it, attack and I think this well, well, well. Look at that, Ice. Kalka, you impress me.
I really thought that uh, he'd never really do anything handy. So uh, maybe I'll just eat my words, you know. They're actually pretty handy for little dolls. I'll give him that. I'm thankful to have him around right now because he saved a couple of uh, MP because I was going to cast a thunder or something on him. I don't, I'm not really sure what the weakness is. Uh, these guys now are not amazing, uh, but they're slow. And I can use... Oh, wow, that's actually a really smart move for these tiny mages. They're not, that, they're not strong, and they actually give decent money, so if I can cast my Fire Rub, They cast Hold. If you hit them physically and don't kill them in one shot, they'll they'll uh, they'll uh, hit you back, but with a Hold spell. So that can be kind of annoying, but thankfully, a Fire Rub takes care of them. And what do we got here? A Dagger. We already have Dagger, but... With the, um... With the Kolka... Or cola, cola, cola something majig. Um, we can uh, pretty much take care of them, I think. Azub Lazar. We'll put them in a hibernation, if anything. Go hibernation! Oh, and they're actually weak against it. That's good. I'm happy to see that. Though, probably staying alive for one extra round could have been handy because I was going to cast another heal spell because holy crap, Brina is so fast now. So fast. Alright, so, there's that one area we didn't see at the top, which we're going to have to explore because I'm sure there's going to be a treasure or something. And, uh, oh man, it's... This, this dungeon is demanding. The game is having some trouble keeping up. Heal dance, huzzah! Everybody's gonna be full health now, good. And these guys aren't weak against anything. That's one thing I learned while uh, grinding. Or at least they're not weak against uh, your typical um, ice fire and uh, ice fire... Ooh, critical hit, wow! Holy crap. Clown outfit. And now she's getting all strong and gaining levels and gaining strength. My gosh, she's gonna like she's gonna become like Kefka or something, and we don't want that, let me tell ya. Because Kefka is an evil clown with a scary laugh. Okay, this is exactly where I wanted to go. Because I wanted to see if there's a treasure up there. And we're gonna go to this silk cave to see if they're still living there. Or and if they've been affected by um what's her name? Uh, let's just fight, why not? And let's just do a level 1 spell on everyone, and you fight and finish it. Look at that. I think my fire spell is gonna... Oh, is she gonna be immune to... F ah, well, Kalka deals with it. Okay, I'm not sure really uh, what they're weak against. Look at that. Kalka and Brina. So Kalka and Brina, I think, was a big doll combined together. Um, I want to use the uh, band attack, but every time I end up using it, like, it has a little, like, charge up. At a time? Ah, oh, silver armor. I already bought one. It has a little charge up thing, and um, Rudy ends up casting a spell before uh, it, I use it, so I'm probably just going to use it in a boss battle. Right? Alright, bring you a little dance. A little ice. I'm going to try just Blizzard, you know, maybe we don't need to waste all our mana on easy-ish frogs. And I just wait, because, uh... Or else, uh... Having one hit, I don't know if these guys have a counter, so... To avoid the counters, I just wait till she casts. So that way they weaken it, so my chance of killing them with the physical attack goes up, so... I don't think they do, though. But some of them cast Toad, or was that just the, the, the mage guys? I think there's mage guys in here that cast Toad, so... I didn't buy any uh, Maiden's Kiss, so I could actually be in trouble if that was the case. But I think we're actually approaching the end of the cave. Oh, but nope. Look at that. Will you just look at it? Uh, we're gonna attack because, you know, we're full health. I'll take one fire up because let's not screw around with big skellies. And you do your drive. 
Ah, uh, well, Radio's gonna take care of it, so... Though I don't think they get the weakness, though. Yeah, they do. Never mind. I lied. I remembered them from Mount Orleans and the uh, ordeals in the first game. Um, there you go. Another level up. God darn. Gosh darn. Ooh, I like these secret little areas. That's where you usually get some kind of handy treasure. Come on, something for Rydia. Ugh. I mean, that's not horrible. Because, um, now we have five, I believe. And I guess with five we can experiment a little bit and have fun with it. But, the thing is... I have a feeling these chapters aren't that, that, like... Aren't that... That long, so... Alright, so dance, and I'm actually gonna let Kalka deal with these guys first. There we go, and do his jive. And then do th fire, uh, just in case, you never know, you know, like... Oops. That's what I'm talking about. I was expecting the front Griskelden to die, and ooh, look at that. Wow, that's some decent damage right there. And it's like furry damage too, because it don't doesn't hit any MP. Oh yeah. Oh that's a good level up. Look at all those stat gains. Damn. And she learned pig, not the most useful spell. It's one of those spells that most creatures are kind of immune to, so I guess it's good if you want to um Okay. I guess it's good if you just kinda wanna transform yourself from a pig back to a, a toad uh, to a human. All right. Oh, I see a square in the uh, in the mini map, meaning we're at the Sylph's house. Please, please, please be alive. I don't remember them being super handy, but I think they heal you. Um, I never really used the Sylph attack in the first game because by the time you get them, you have much better summons, or you have really good summons. I, I have a feeling it's the it's a uh, healing one, but we'll find out soon enough. First, let's see if we can raid their pots. And we got some more ore. Huzzah. Hope they're not too mad about it. I guess we should probably go back and see the blacksmith again, because I'm going to guess anything we find here is going to not come with us to the next chapter, so. In the door we go. Oh no. A sylph. Yang, please be safe. These guys met the same fate too why would she come here she had nothing no reason to come here and this is the bed yang was in yet they hit him with a pan to wake him up what is this uh oh, these are treasures a mage robe yes this is what we came here for oh yeah look at those sad oh yeah mm -mm -mm. too good that makes me happy. See, that's... Oh. <laughs> yes, because we don't actually have healing without... Oh, man, and it increases everything. This is just... Oh, yes. made This just made everything better. All the crappy treasures, all the boring battles, everything. All made better by the discovery of that gear. And it brings us outside, so we don't need to actually grind anything. Look at that. Jeez. What a day. And we we still had more than half MP, too. We could have grinded if we would have wanted to. So, uh, well, guys, thanks for watching. I think it's an appropriate time to end the video. I'm going to heal up, and I'm going to go to the cave uh, near Tamra Village. And in the next episode, we'll finally tackle it on and go see if we can save the last crystal before that mysterious girl can get her hands on them. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.